ignored your alarm system thinking it's just malfunctioning? Matt Reeb talked to a woman who almost did until an ADT dispatcher saved her life. And this is Lindsay with ADT Security Services. I'm calling to notify you of a residential burglar alarm. 18 times an hour, 144 times a shift, she checks on the welfare of her clients. It's a lot of work, but the job she's always wanted. Lindsay is an operator at the ADT call center in Platte County and rarely has time to think about the calls she makes. The homeowner usually never thinks that it's real. That was the case back in November when Marcel answered a carbon monoxide alert from Salt Lake City, Utah. Joe Neal Nye had just installed an alarm system with a CO detector when she received a call from Marcel. We started receiving a carbon monoxide alarm coming from the main hallway zone one. So everything's fine. But Marcel didn't hang up the phone. She called the fire department and urged Nye's family to leave the house until they arrived. You know, there's no way. The doors are open. There's nothing wrong. It's just maybe their system's too sensitive. The system wasn't sensitive. The fire department discovered lethal levels of CO in the house. Nye credits Marcel with saving her family. This call led to Marcel receiving a National Operator of the Year Award. It's an honor for Lindsay, but is quick to point out... I don't see what was so special about my alarm. It's just something we're supposed to do. And we'll keep doing for years to come. Matt Reeb, NBC Action News. Marcel's advice to those she calls is to take those calls seriously because losing a few minutes to a false alarm is better than losing your life.